In the wild, she would not have survived with this condition. Welcome back to DZTV's Best Life, presented by Cigna. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Aye, aye, a rare primate species we have here at Denver Zoo, are known for their extra long finger that helps them find and get to bugs that live inside of wood. But their large rodent-like incisors play an equally impressive role. They're huge, they're built for chewing wood, getting to sap and bugs, and they are continuously growing and wear over time. In 2022, our animal care specialists and veterinary medicine team noticed that our five-year-old female Tonks seemed to have an infection in her jaw. As this is what normal eye-eye incisors look like. So this from here all the way to there, that's her lower incisor. But Denver Zoo clinical veterinarian, Dr. Jennifer Hausman, said CT scans done here at the hospital showed something much more serious. So this is all infected in there. This infection was in both of her lower incisor teeth, which are very big teeth that take up a huge portion of her lower jaw. For humans, tooth infections can be painful, but mostly treatable with extraction or a root canal. But that course of treatment would have a huge effect on Tonks's quality of life. Extracting both lower teeth would mean she would not be able to chew on wood and perform a lot of her natural history that makes her happy. And so we want to try to save those teeth so that they can continue to grow. So we were in uncharted territory. II are not housed in many zoos, and the ones who have them had not seen this problem before. I reached out to the dentist, the veterinary dentist up at CSU at the vet school, Dr. Naomi Hoyer, and started talking with her about what we could do as options to try to treat that infection but save the teeth. After looking at similar treatments in elephants and red river hogs, who also have continuously growing tusks, they decided to try what's called vital pulp therapy. Dr. Hoyer did two separate procedures on each side of Tonks's jaw late last year to address the infections. The infection was right here, caused a fracture in the tooth, and we actually removed that section of tooth because it was dead and not helpful and had infection in it. So we took that out, cleaned this end up, and then sealed it. That's CT scans taken a few months later showed the treatment was working. You can see in that time, this root section grew to 2.3 centimeters. So this section expanded to this section and basically pushed this part of the tooth out. Our vet med team will keep checking to make sure the teeth are growing and the infection stays away. But Dr. Hausman says, so far, so good. It looks like we will be able to essentially return her to full function, normal incisors that in a couple years you would look at our incisors and not know this ever occurred. Pioneering medical solutions with the help of experts. Just another way we give our animals their best life here at Denver Zoo. For DZTV, I'm Carly McGuire. See you next time.